Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jay Mehta here from Mumbai and we are continuing this video series as a part of the journey of the embryo inside the IVF laboratory. In our previous videos, we have already discussed about the 2PN stage which is the first stage which occurs after fertilization and after that we looked at the 4 cell stage which is called as the day 2 of the embryokinetics. In today's entire episode, we are going to have a look on the day 3. Whenever I tell day 3, remember this is after doing ICSI. You all know what is ICSI by now, where the sperm is injected inside the oocyte. That is called as ICSI. So now, this is on the third day. So approximately 65 to 70 hours after the ICSI has been done. That is day 3, right? Every day is 24 hours. So if you look at the third day, we are assessing it close to 66 to 70 hours. So now we are going to have a close up of the screen and this is going to be seen the best when the lights are switched off. So as you can now see, we are seeing the image of this embryo. See in our previous images, you could count the number of cells. Here what's going to happen is at this stage, remember, once the ICSI is done, at 24 hours, it should become two cells. At 48 hours, it should become four cells. These two cells will become four cells. And now it should become eight cells. This is how the embryo should grow. So here you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there is one more cell in the behind. Maybe an experienced eye can see that. So this is an embryo which has grown till the eight cell at this desired timeline. See this desired timeline is very very important that is at around 64 hours. So this is very good for us. Okay. Let's look at the other embryos of the same patient. Okay. Look at this. This is the other embryo of the same patient. Right. You can count the number of cells. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then there is one behind the sixth one. But this one if you just visually see you know even as an innocent observer you will try and understand and realize that this embryo is not looking as good as the previous one not looking as good as this one okay let's move on to the next one ah see this one looks very good no you can count the number of cells correct see in our last video we mentioned a very important point in embryology whenever we are trying to assess these embryos they should look uniform see this cell looks as much as this cell this looks like this this looks like this this looks like this and there is no fragmentation that means there is no granulation in between that's an indication of a good embryo so this seems to be a very good embryo let's look at this one all right so now you will see that this is also an embryo which has reached eight cell stage but as i said it is not as good as the embryo which you saw before now this is a surprise one this is not fertilized at all huh so that is why when we say that when IVF is being done, let's say when somebody gives us 10 eggs, why do we not form 10 embryos of all of them being equally good? Because despite the correct technique being followed, you can have something like this and this is a fertilization failure. Okay, so the oocyte has remained just as it is and it has not grown further. That is how nature is. That is how the selections occur in nature. It's no one's fault. Let's go on to the next embryo. This embryo looks good, but you, if you see in between this, there is a little hole inside this, right? This is called as a vacuolation inside an embryo. So I will not rate this embryo as one of the best embryos out of which this patient has. Let's look at the last one. Ah, this is a bad one. See, this embryo has a lot of granulations in between, right? This is called as fragmentation. Fragmentation means the cells are not looking as good as they should be. See, you saw a good embryo. See, this, should, this is a non-fragmented embryo. This is a non-fragmented embryo. So the embryo should ideally look like this. See this one. This is a non-fragmented embryo with a vacuolation, single vacuolation. In compared to these three good embryos, this embryo is not a very good embryo. This is a fragmented embryo. So when now somebody tells me, doctor, select the best embryo for me. Remember, whenever we are talking of a day three embryo, this these are all day three embryos, okay? We always want to put at least three day three embryos. I repeat, we always want to put at least three day three embryos. The reason is when you put in three day three embryos, in three day three embryos, one can achieve a success rate of approximately 35 to 40 percent. 
So obviously the next question will be that out of these three embryos, what if all of them go inside an implant? Can it give rise to triplets? There is a possibility, but it is very limited. I will answer this question very specifically when I do the next video or when our next video comes on blastocyst embryos. Remember that is very important. At our setup, we do exclusive blastocyst culture. So the embryo transfer is also exclusively blastocyst. There are just certain advantages to that. I'll explain those advantages in my next video. I hope all of you are enjoying this video series of this time-lapse imaging of the embryos inside the laboratory. This will really help you stay calm, collected and quiet during your IVF cycle, irrespective of where you are doing it. Remember, there are certain laboratories who still believe in doing day three culture. That means they grow embryos only till this stage. It's their choice. There are certain laboratories like us which do only blastocyst culture. Again, we have our reasons for doing that, which we will explain in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this.